Oh my gosh, getting lean over 50 can seem like it's absolutely impossible, isn't it? But I'm gonna show you in this video how I got lean for this photo shoot. I'm 55 years old. You can do the same thing too. I'm gonna to show you exactly my strategies that I use to get lean and I'm gonna give you a physique update. Hello fam and welcome to my channel. My name's Melissa Neal and this channel is all about helping you if you're a woman over 40 or like me over 50. And I've made a couple of videos on what I do to get lean. I actually went on a cut for a photo shoot. I gave myself around about 10 weeks, kind of mini cut to get in shape. And it's always good if you can set yourself a goal, you've got a target, you've got a date in mind. So it could be a photo shoot, could be like an event you're going to, like a wedding. It could be a vacation, that kind of thing. It's always good if you've got a goal in mind because that's what's gonna help you stay on track, isn't it? So what did I do? I'm gonna talk about the training first. The first key thing is I stuck to the strength training that I do all year round. That didn't really change significantly. So that's four strength training sessions that are around about an hour, give or take. And I do one leg day and three upper body days. Now, for most of you guys, I was actually recommend you do two leg days, two leg and glute days, and two upper body days. And the reason that I do that kind of split is I want to grow my upper body so that it's bigger because I've, have, I've got already really well-developed legs. I've worked really hard on doing two or three sessions a week on over the years. So I wanted the upper body to match my legs. Then I do one circuit training session per week. So that's a high intensity interval training. It's a lot of military fitness type stuff, which I absolutely love for kind of fat burning, enjoyment. And I do that for between 30 and 45 minutes. Then I did four to five sessions of high intensity interval training, either on an elliptical, an incline walk, or a stair machine. And the rest of that is actually made up with steps, which is walking. And what I did towards the end of this cut is actually increase my steps rather than increase my cardio too much. So I took it from 10,000 steps to 15 and even 20,000 steps per day. And that's what I really recommend for you because you can kind of plateau out on doing too much cardio. And then that really is detrimental to your strength gains. Once you do that over 30 minutes, it's too much. So that's my working out. So what did I do with food? Well, towards the end, I dropped down to 1650 calories. That's quite low for me. That was 160 grams of protein. So that's really high in protein for me. And I'm gonna talk about my body weight in a minute. And 130 grams of carbs. That's quite low for me. I did struggle with that amount of carbs and 55 grams of fat. And if you want a program that covers all this, I actually have this in my iPhone and Android app and my other online programs. So you can check those out by following the link up here or following the link in the description. Now I'm gonna talk about my results. And the goal was to lean down, but I didn't wanna get stage lean. So just lean enough for a photo shoot where you're starting to see a little bit of muscle development, but not really extreme lean that I would get down to when I'm doing bikini competitions, because actually for a photo shoot, you wanna keep your face looking a little bit fuller 
and if you lean down too much what can happen is it actually shows in your face quite a bit and can make you look a little bit haggard. So my starting weight was 55.5 kilos which is 123 pounds and I ended up at 53 kilos which is 117 pounds. My waist dropped from the start of this process at 26 and a half inch waist to 25 in 25 and a half inch waist. Now, when you're talking about a waist which is already quite small, it's actually quite difficult to lose a significant amount from that. So I was really happy with that. But what I was really more than happy with was the body shape that I ended up. So I tend to go a lot on like photos and videos, that kind of thing, and achieved what I wanted, which was kind of getting a bit leaner, but looking a bit more softer, a bit more feminine than I would do if I got up on a stage. Those are the main strategies I implemented. Of course, I was focusing on making sure I was getting enough sleep, which is also really, really important for fat loss. So I was making sure I was getting those sleep strategies in, the supplements like the L-theanine and the ashwagandha, taking those just before bed and that's really gonna help. If you're looking to go on a cut, get some fat loss, highly recommend that you think more about fat loss than scale weight loss. That's the most important thing. And of course, if you continue to do that longer than the 10 weeks that I've been doing, then you're gonna see even more dramatic results.